Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob and thanks for joining us today. Here on this channel, The Campbell Chronicles, we do all things family, travel, and Disney. And lately we've done some really exciting Disney cruises. This last cruise that we went on was a back-to-back -back sailing aboard the Disney Dream during a merry time sailing and it was, honestly, it was, it was fantastic. We loved it. We loved everything about it. But more specifically, we love the dining. So today we're gonna give you a dining review on one of the main dining places, the Royal Palace. The Royal Palace is a themed restaurant. It's right there off the main lobby on deck three. It's themed after kind of that Cinderella slash Sleeping Beauty vibe. But of course they have a bunch of artwork and other theming that we'll get to in a minute. Now when it comes to this review, we're gonna be breaking up into five different categories. We'll give them all a score and add them up for a potential score of five out of five thumbs up. And we'll do that at the very end. We're gonna talk about theming, service, food quality, dessert, and pricing. Now, since this is aboard a Disney cruise, we're actually gonna be taking away the pricing this time, so we'll just be talking about those four. Let's go ahead and start with the theming. As mentioned, this theming is kind of like that Cinderella slash Sleeping Beauty vibe, but they have some beautiful artwork throughout the restaurant that ties in a lot of the other princesses from Snow White, Tiana, Rapunzel, so on. There's something, there's some kind of touch that can be felt from all the different princesses, whether it's in your face like some of the artwork or just subtle touches. It's really kind of set and molded for the princesses. So I really like this and they, it's not over the top, okay? It's really not. There's some in your face stuff like I mentioned, but when it comes to the theming of this place, I think it's really good. The way the waiters are dressed up in their, their royal uniforms and so on. I really liked it. I'm gonna go ahead and give theming four out of five thumbs up on this one. Next, let's talk about the service. Now, service aboard the Disney cruise ships is one, in my opinion, probably some of the best that you'll ever receive when it comes to dining. You have your head server, your server, and your assistant server that are all gonna be taking care of you. Each one has their different role. Each one has their different job. You're gonna have your main server, he's gonna be the one that takes your order, brings you out your food, and so on. Whereas your assistant server is gonna be helping with catch your kid's food. He's gonna help, he's gonna bring out your food and he's gonna make sure your drinks are topped off and things like that. Okay, well, and then you have your head server, he's kind of the one that bounces around to the tables and make sure everybody's getting treated right, that everything's living up to expectations and so on. What I really like about this is that it's not over the top, okay? It's really well done. But because there's three of them, you might get interrupted a couple times mid-bite, but that's fine. I, I know they're just doing their job and I know they're there trying to do their best to make sure you're having your best experience while you're dining. As far as service goes, I'm, I'm not knocking them down on this one. Five out of five thumbs up on this. Next, let's talk about the food quality. Aboard the Disney Dream, the Royal Palace has some of my favorite food quality as far as consistency. Like I mentioned before, this is a back-to-back -back cruise and I actually ate at Royal Palace twice for dinner, a couple times for breakfast, and we also had a pirate night there as well. Every single time I ate at Royal Palace, it knocked it out of the park as far as food quality goes. I really wasn't, I was really wasn't disappointed. But as far as overall entrees, appetizers, and so on, this is where you get your escargot, you can get your lat rack of lamb, uh, you can get your beef tenderloin, uh, just some really good service and entrees there as far as the food quality. So again, I'm not knocking this one down, guys. As far as consistency goes, this is where it was at. Five out of five thumbs up for food quality. Lastly, let's talk about that dessert. The dessert was good. My favorite dessert that I had at the Royal Palace was probably that strawberry shortcake sundae. Um, was not my favorite dessert aboard the Disney Dream. My favorite was actually, as mentioned in other videos, was the pistachio cake at Apollo. But if you're getting away from that, my favorite dessert was probably over at Animator's Palette was the lemon icebox cake much better, but that strawberry shortcake sundae was really good. I would say a close second. I'm not gonna take too much away from this because it wasn't like blow your mind amazing dessert that sometimes we just crave, but it was really good. So four out of five thumbs up on this dessert. So if you've been adding up, we're gonna take the average here. The total today is actually gonna bring you to four out of five thumbs up. That is a pretty good score. I've only given one place a perfect score before, and that's Paulo over at the Disney Magic. So four out of five thumbs up. We had some really consistent entrees and appetizers. The service was fantastic. The theming was great, not over the top, but you felt very elegant and very fancy. I liked it. And of course the dessert was well too. So yeah, four, four out of five thumbs up, that's pretty good. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Have you eaten at Royal Palace? Are you excited to eat there maybe in the future? Put in the comment section. If you found anything of value today, hit that like button and subscribe. It does help our channel out as we reach our next big milestone. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you real soon. And remember, adventure is out there. Thank you.